22 rig, custom rig that I just made for a gentleman out in Utah. And there are some uh, interesting, unusual, different, one-of-a-kind features that you'll see in this rig as far as how you order it. Everybody orders things a little bit differently, which is why I don't make things from stock to sell. Um, when you are looking at websites for the other holster makers, not going to name any names, most often they are selling you items from stock. Whole gun belt rigs, um, names they give them, I did give mine a name, but that was because of the various elements, features that go into making a rig. But how you want your rig, the color of it, bullet loops, where they're on the rig, uh, all of that goes into making a custom rig. Now this one, okay, is a Buscadero rig as opposed to an over the over the belt rig, which is more of the 1800 styles. This is a Hollywood B Western type rig. This gentleman has a five and a half inch Uberti 22. My gun is the six and a half inch Ruger okay, from the 60s, six and a half inch barrel. Because he has a five and a half inch gun, I used the receiver cylinder end of this gun to form the holster, and I cut down the pattern that I had ma made for this gun to be shorter. You can see that the barrel of my gun is sticking out. His will come right to here and fit perfectly. He did not want a, a, a concho of any kind or a broad you know, holster strap. Wanted a standard Hollywood B type, you know, every cowboy had one standard strap buckle, holster strap, and that's what he got. Okay. This rig was immersed in water after it was dyed to stiffen it up. So it's got fairly stiff uh, feel to it and it has a rolled out throat which you can see there you go you can see the rolled out throat right here which helps with reholstering it and it has a fast draw cut down in the front here too on the back you will see in addition to the suede lining which comes with a cowboy rig this helps grip your pants real good. You'll see the gentleman's initials. There they are, along with my stamp that says bobsletterworks.com, made in USA, not China. Okay, here's the hammer thong right here. There's the leg thong. Okay, this is a Ranger overlap belt. So there's the buckle end. He got nickel hardware. This is a cowboy type western, however you want to call it, clip cornered, nickel plated inside brass buckle. And Chicago screws so you can change the buckle if you want to. This is a one inch wide receiving loop for the front of this. This is a Ranger overlap gun belt system. If you get it like this, rather than just taper down ends, this helps prevent a lot of twisting when you're wearing a belt. And then of course this goes through here. I'm not going to put it through because I don't want to put any marks on this one. This is going right into a box after I get done making this video. Now, one of the things I wanted to show off again, in addition to the rig, was this product right here. Everything I make gets finished with this. There's oil dye in here, not water-based dye. And most of these parts are immersed in dye, so if the leather gets nicked, the color doesn't go away. It goes down deep into the leather. Then I put Neat's foot oil on it to condition it up. Okay, it always helps polish it out 
a little bit like a new pair of shoes and then after everything is dried down again I go over it with this this is beeswax and this is mostly empty I have to go buy another container of this and you put this on uh, not a lot just cover it all up and buff it out with the washcloth I buy washcloths by the pound uh, at Ollie's uh, and I don't know if you've heard of Ollie's or not but they're very inexpensive and then you just buff it out and it comes up to a nice mellow soft non-glossy shine and you may want to look on tandyleatherfactory.com or just tandy.com and if you can buy this stuff and keep it on hand you can put it on all your leather items and it'll give them give them a good wax proof proof preventive finish and okay, wax proof preventive finish okay and it won't soften the leather don't use needs foot oil on things like this turns them into mush okay so there is your custom made 22 rig okay, which you can go out and shoot up tin cans I save all of my coffee creamer plastic containers which you can put water in and shoot them up all day long and then throw them away and not breaking glass okay so once more if you've got this gun and there's a lot of them out there no problem I can make you a rig for your Ruger single six any length barrel okay oh and one more thing before I close it out I keep on forgetting some things never ever leave your bullets in your loops when you put your rig away because the leather will interact with the brass and create that green mush that you've got to clean out and wash out and you don't want to have that problem so every time you put your rig away if you've got bullets in your loops take them out if you've got steel cases you're okay but not brass all right, that's it. Close out with a little parting shot. Okay. And we will see you next time with something else. I don't know what it's going to be yet. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.